Hello, my first graders. We are working on chapter four review. Chapter went pretty fast, didn't it? So we are on page 247. Looks like this, a two, a four, and a seven, 247. If you're not on page 247, pause this video, find your page, then hit play when you're ready. All right, number one, count back. Write the number that is two less. So in other words, eight minus two. Well, here's eight, what do we do to do minus two? We cross two off. How many are left? We just need to count them. What did you get? Six. Eight minus two is six. Look at the facts. A number is missing. Which number is missing? So look at these. Which one's the easier one to solve? Eight plus something equals 13? or 13 minus eight. All right, boys and girls, I want you to solve and decide which is that missing number. Pause the video, hit play when you're ready. All right, my first graders, you're hitting play if you answered the question. So I looked at these and I felt like 13 minus eight was probably the easier one to solve because there's no missing number. So I use my number line, okay? So remember, when you take your test, you definitely wanna have your number line with you because we've been practicing that. Here's 13, I'm gonna take eight hops back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I landed on five. So 13 minus eight equals five. So eight plus what equals 13? Well, remember I add my two small numbers to find my big number. So five is my missing number. So I'm gonna fill in the number five. So right, we add our two small numbers to get a big number. So my missing number was five. Write a subtraction sentence you can solve using five plus four equals nine. So they want a minus problem. So remember, what do we know about minus problems? Minus problems have to start with a what number? Subtraction, we start with the biggest number. What is our biggest number? Nine, right? Nine's our biggest number. So nine minus I could take any one of these away. How about I do five? Nine minus five equals, nine minus five, what's our next number? Four. Now that's not the only minus problem we could have written, is it? We could do nine again, right? We always start with that biggest number. Could we have taken four away? Yes, we could have. Nine minus four, if we do nine minus four, what does it equal? Five our other missing number. Nine minus four equals five. So we had two options for that one. All right, just remember though, you always start with your biggest number for a minus problem, right? We start with our big number for minus. All right, number four. Make a 10 to subtract. Draw to show your work. Write the difference. Well, 12 minus seven. Hmm, look, they started, they started our problem, but they didn't finish it. How many circles do we need to have all together? Yeah, we need 12. So let's look, we have, well, we have seven, so we keep going. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now we start with 12, right? We take seven away, right? These seven red ones. We could even cross them off if we want to. How many are left? How many circles did we make? Count them. What did you get? Did you get five? All right, 12 minus seven equals five. Remember, when they show us some of the circles we have to finish, 
We have to make sure we start with the biggest number. What subtraction sentence does the model show? Hmm. What does this show? Well, does this show 10 minus 5? Well, it kind of does, doesn't it? But that's not everything. That, that shows, t that's not, wait a minute. No, it doesn't, does it? This isn't 10 minus 5. Here's 10. How many do we start with? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We started with 15. How many are they crossing off here? 5. Now, wait a minute. Here's 15 minus 5. But we're not done yet, are we? Then we have to cross off 3 more. Oh, so we had 15. We crossed off five, then we crossed off three more. So it would be this one. This shows all the steps, right? If there's two steps, then we have to show two times that we're taking away. Right. Loopy has nine books. She gives some away. She has seven left. How many books does she give away? Draw or write to explain. Hmm, so let's go back. Loopy has nine books. She gives some away, so we have a missing number. She has seven left. How many books does she give away? So let's make our problem. If she gives some away, what kind of problem is that? Minus problem. So let's look. She, oh, they have our starting number. Nine minus sum equals seven, because in the end she had seven left. She had nine books, she gave some away, B equals seven. All right, what do we know? How can we turn this into a better problem to solve? If they give us our big number, we have the big number at the beginning of the minus problem. What do we do to get a small number? Do we add the big and the small number or do we subtract them? we subtract. So we have nine minus seven equals, right? If you have nine and you take seven away, what do you get? Pause. When you're ready, hit play. Okay. So you had nine minus seven. What did you get? Did you get two? Ah, so now that we found our missing small number, Nine minus two equals seven. Loopy gives away how many books? Two. So just remember, when you're missing a small number, you have to subtract. Look at the number sentences. What number is missing? Write the number in each box. Okay, so look at these. We're missing a number. We're actually missing the same number in each one. 13 minus something equals nine or nine plus something equals 13. Could we turn that into a different problem? What do we do if we're missing our small number? What do we do? Here's our big number. We start with our big number. We're missing a small number. Do we add them together or do we subtract? we subtract. So we can say 13 minus 9 equals. All right. I want you to pause, solve to find our missing number. All right. If you're hitting play, it's because you have an answer. So let's look. I used my number line for this. I found 13. I took nine hops back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I landed on four. 13 minus nine equals four. So my missing number is four. 13 minus four equals nine. And then again, nine plus something equals 13. Well, here's our nine, here's our 13. Our missing number is four, right? Because we can add our two small numbers to get the big number. Right. 
Star means count back one. Square means count back two. Circle means count back three. Match each picture to a number sentence. Okay, so this one means minus one. So that one's one. This one means count back two, right? So that would be a minus two problem. And the circle means count back three, so that's a minus three. So we need to look at these and figure out what's the missing number. If we figure out the missing number, then we'll be able to answer our question. So five minus something equals two. Well, wait a minute. It's a minus problem we're missing. We got our big number, we're missing a small number. What do we do when we're missing a small number? We subtract. So we could say five minus two equals. When we solve that, let's solve it. We can even use our fingers for that. Five, take two fingers away. What do you have left? Three. So our missing number is three. Which one of these has the three? Yeah, the circle. So we can connect to the circle. Our missing number was three. Let's look at this one. Seven minus something equals six. We're missing a small number. So we need to turn this into a minus problem, right? Find the small number, minus problem. So seven minus six equals blank. All right, we took the big number minus the small number. So what's seven minus six? I'm gonna use my number line. Here's my seven minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do I land on? One. Oh, seven minus six is one. Which one of these had a one on it? Yep, the star. So I'm gonna connect to the star. My missing number was one. All right, eight minus six. Now, I know we only have one left, but we don't wanna just draw that line. I want you to pause and turn this into a minus problem for me. Eight minus something equals six. How can we turn that around into a normal problem? Pause, hit play when you're ready to check your work. All right, if you're watching, you're ready to check. On the side, did you write eight minus six equals two? Hopefully you did. When we have a missing small number, we take and we make a different minus problem, right? We subtract eight minus six equals two. And now we can draw our line. Okay, number nine, make a 10 to subtract. Well, in other words, they want us to finish our picture, right? We have 13 minus seven. Well, wait a minute, they only have seven circles, so we need to finish that. Boys and girls, I want you to finish this. Remember, you need to have 13 circles when you're done. Pause, make your circles. See, how many did you make? If you're hitting play, that means that you solved the problem and you're ready to check your work. So they, we need 13 minus seven. Well, they only made seven circles, so I have to count one. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And if you're not sure, you go back and you count all the circles to see if you have 13. 10, 11, 12, 13 minus seven. So I could cross off these red circles, right? Or I can look and see how many more circles did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six. I made six circles. So it's 13 minus seven equals six. I can even cross off my seven if I want to. Okay, and then all that's left are the six that I made. Remember, you can pause at any time if you need to catch up. How does the model show 
15 minus 6. Choose the numbers that make the number sentence true. Circle numbers in the boxes. So we're going to make each one of these match. Look at step one. How many circles did they start with all together? 15, right? How minus how many? How many did they cross off? Count those circles. What did you get? Five, they crossed off five. So I'm gonna circle the number five. 15 minus five equals 10. That's what they showed us here. Starting with 15, crossing off five, and it's 10 left. Now let's look at step two. They have how many circles did they start with? They started with 10 red circles. We have 10 red circles minus how many? How many did they cross off? One. And it equals nine. There's nine circles left. So really this is just looking and seeing how many did we start? How many circles are there? How many were crossed off? Go deeper. Mark has 11 blue crayons. He gives some away. He has four left. How many blue crayons does he give away? Draw a picture to help you subtract. Okay, so let's look at this. Mark has 11 blue crayons, so we have 11. He gives some away. Um, oh, that tells us it's a minus problem. He has four left. Okay, so we are going to make our problem. So he has, starts with 11. If he gives some away, it's a minus problem. But he gives some, we don't know. We have a missing number. Equals four. Hey, wait a minute. That's not an easy one to solve. We have to turn that into a better problem. Remember, if we're missing one of our small numbers, we have to do what? Subtract. So we're going to do 11 minus how many? Four equals. Okay, can we make a picture to help us solve this problem? We can because it says draw to help you solve. So how many circles are we going to start with? 11. How many get crossed off? Four. Go ahead and pause. Draw your picture. Hit play when you're ready. All right. So you should have had a picture that looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Cross off four of them. How many were left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eleven minus four equals seven. So our missing number is seven. Seven blue crayons. That's how many he gives away. And down here it says, how is drawing like acting out a problem? Well, you're not going to really need this for your test, but drawing a picture, it's how is it like acting out a problem? Well, it's showing your work, right? It's using an example, okay? You're showing the circles. I could have put blue crayons out and taken them away. So drawing a picture is showing the same thing. It's, it's giving an example of what you're doing. It's showing your, it shows your work. All right, boys and girls, that's all I have for you today.